Mikel is not in this video, but thanks for watching the previous video if you watched it about the time of show. For all those who voted for me, thank you. For all those that voted for Mikel, he thanks you guys too. On this video, I just ran a rave about a couple of things. If this is your first video, I hope you click the subscribe button. And now it's time to roll the credits. I'll say what comes to my mind. If Kevin ever kicks me off his show, you all better protest. I would never kick Mikel off my show. Never. Y'all better shut the hell up. I don't, I don't live here. here. <laughs> <laughs> they like to see arguments. Like, we're better than the view. If I get up, it's going to be trouble. I still don't live here. And I like the fact that y'all like when we talk about the people. All the haters, yeah. Beyonce made 80 million last year. How much you got in your bank account? Oh, okay. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is Scorpion. Um, there's some things I wanted to talk about. We haven't, me and Raquel haven't made a video in a couple days. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to talk about OJ Simpson, dumbass. Yes, he is locked away for 15 years. At least 15 years. The maximum is 33 years. You know, OJ, you were so stupid. You just kept doing stupid shit. Okay? First of all, you got away with two murders. And then you were still in the news for dumb shit. Then you want to go rob people for your memorabilia. You got everything that you deserve. All I got to say to you, OJ Simpson, karma is a bitch. Let's talk about Roman Polanski. He's a famous director. If you've never heard of him, Google him, um, subscribers. This man wants a case to be thrown out at the 30 years. He has sex with a 13-year-old girl. And, you know, he's saying that because there's this, uh, this movie about his life, it showed how the way the court system was shady towards him. But to me, I didn't see the movie. I don't give a damn. I don't care if it was 40 years ago. If you raped a child or did have any sexual relationship with a child, your ass should be locked up. And Roman, if you didn't do anything bad, why did you flee the country after you said you were guilty of doing it? Like, why would you leave? If you're innocent, why did you leave? Just like a goddamn priest. If he's raping children, even if they caught him 35 years from now, he's still going to jail. Because that's some nasty shit to do to a child. Especially a 13-year-old. You don't do no stuff like that. And then think, oh, because it was 30 years ago and because you're a famous director that you shouldn't be um, penalized for your crime. Lock his ass up. And let's talk about people on MySpace. If, you have, if you're have, if you a MySpace friend, you can log into my MySpace. MySpace.com slash The Scorpion. And you can go to M M Mikhail's MySpace page, myspace.com slash Giselle A6. MySpace. This is my gripes on MySpace. You got all these rappers. Yo, check out my music. Check out my music. Yo, this shit is hot. Yo, yo, this shit is flames. Stop! Stop sending it to me. I fucking hate it. That's why I had to block bands. Now, if you are one of my YouTube subscribers and you're a band, send me a message and I'll add you as a friend. But don't be saying... Check out my music, it's hot, it's flames, it's this, it's that. Because I don't like rap all like that. And only the rappers do that. Singers don't even give me all that. Singers might be like, yeah, this is me, I sing R&B, or whatever. And the first time I ever told somebody, I listen, I actually listened to their page, they was all like, um, well, thanks. I'm like, well, I gave you my feedback. How you want to get mad because I gave you my feedback on what I thought about your song? Um... Oh, oh, when you send people mess, no, when you send people a friend request, they say, who is you? Do I know you? Bitch, you don't fucking know me. If I knew you, I would have sent you a message saying, hey, this is such a memory from school or whatever. If I send you a friend request, I send you a friend request. Obviously, I like your page or your page is probably private, so I like your picture. So I sent you a damn friend request. Or then um, some some of the damn spam people be like, um, Hey, boo, my boyfriend, I just broke up with my boyfriend, and um, I just came back in the city, and I wanted to meet you or whatever. Fuck no. I'm not down with that shit. And what else do I get on MySpace? Um, stupid ass comments, naked comments. I don't want no naked ass person in my comments. Then I'm like, oh, what type of person am I? Um, what else? What else? Okay, the number one thing that's in my mailbox this week is Beyonce being number one on Single Ladies. Congratulations, Beyonce. We all knew Single Ladies was going to be number one. Look how many people was buying it on iTunes because they damn sure wasn't playing it on the radio. 
Okay? I rarely hear sick ladies on the radio. And I do this to the radio for those out there. And they don't really play If I Were a Boy like that. So y'all keep buying those songs on iTunes, okay? Y'all keep doing that, Beyonce fans. Y'all keep doing it, okay? It took Beyonce eight weeks, but... Congratulations, she did it. I don't have a number one song in the Hot 100. And then well, after everybody, every, everybody that sent me a message saying Beyonce is number one, everybody keeps saying, oh, now she's tied with Rihanna. See, you Beyonce fans, you hate Rihanna. I don't hear all that Rihanna stuff about the Beyonce, going against Beyonce fans all like that. It's the Beyonce fans going against the Rihanna fans. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong about that. Um, also, Cadillac Records is in theaters this weekend. If you haven't seen Cadillac Records, go see Cadillac Records. I heard Beyonce did a phenomenal job, and I'm supposedly supposed to go see this movie tomorrow, which is Sunday. Um, what else? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Britney Spears Circus. Go buy the motherfucking album. It is so good. Okay, some of the songs that I like already is Blur, mm, Poppy, Mannequin, Lace and Leather. Uh, uh, if you seek Amy Circus, I'm almost naming the damn album. It is really, really good. Go buy Britney Spears' new CD. Even though her performances, she be still be stiff and stuff. I finally seen it. But fuck that. Go get the album. Like her voice is not the greatest, but the music is decent, and you will really, really love it. Uh, Brandy's new album come out this Tuesday. Do y'all know how good Brandy's song is? Long distance. She be like, um, I wish that you were here with me, but we're stuck where we are, and it's so hard, so far. This long distance is killing me. It's so far, it's so hard, it's so far. Something like that. Go get it, Brit, Brit, Brandy's. Uh, all, all these bees, Beyonce, Brandy, Britney. Go get their albums. They are all hot. Again, Brandy's come out this Tuesday. Britney's came out this past Tuesday, and Beyonce's came out two weeks ago. Go get them all because they're all good. And what else? What else? What else? I don't know what else to talk about, but let me know what y'all thought about what I just talked about. I'm talking real fast because I've been this bathroom and you know I wouldn't go downstairs and I can't even go downstairs all like that because my mom has got all this shit going on but I'll talk to y'all soon make sure if you're not a subscriber click the subscribe button peace